out here some of my friends they have a uh, what year is this 70s 80s Volkswagen Beetle and uh, we're trying to see if we can get it to jump start apparently they got it to start before but we tried hooking up the battery and everything and I even tried banging on the starter and it just won't turn over we did figure out how to get the horn to work though so that's a plus overall looks good <laughs> right now the only thing is we're trying we're gonna try to jump start it but the battery so or the the tire is so flat over here that I don't know how we're gonna get it aired up. So we're trying to we're trying to figure it out one thing at a time. If they're too tight, I have WD-40. I'm having okay luck over here. Just let me know. <laughs> you go strip the bolts if it is. Turning the tire instead of turning this. Wait, are you talking about Zach? Maybe, I don't know. They're both white, I can tell you that. Ah, that was Zach and Gideon, yeah. Yeah, okay, Gideon was one of them. That was driving me crazy. The other guy, did he look like him? No, it wasn't his brother. Sure was it was Zach Long. And then it was some guy, I don't remember. Half the guys at church were blonde white guys. I think it's really dumb that half these chicks can't realize that these guys are low key hitting on them. Okay, got the tires off. Let's go inflate them. Good? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do this. My Jeep is getting utilized for the ultimate utility work. Oh, and it's stupid hot outside.
it at? Nice going, Nicholas. <laughs> Nicholas was trying to put the tire on and he kicked it and it's only got one jack point. It's like this big, so when he kicked it, the whole car shifted and the jack stand fell over it, so it just fell. So now we've got to get a jack stand underneath this. <laughs> okay, let's do this. <laughs> and then I need one of you to kick that underneath. There's a cross beam under here. Where the... The oh, camera see did it. not just fall. I promise. <laughs> It might be easier if two of us actually lifted it, like me and Nicholas, and then Marcel sticks it underneath. Uh, Marcel's stronger than me. Camera. You're joking, right? Uh, Look how big he is. <laughs> I know, but still. Oh, no. okay. Yeah, yeah. Now we just put like five pounds of gas. Five pounds of gas. Oops. Hey, someone's a good seizure, actually. I can pick it up, but I don't know if I can hold it. So we're gonna actually uh, hold on. Pull the camera away. <laughs> Forget everything I just said. I'm sticking this under here. Camera boy, set that down. We're gonna do this together, like family. Oh yeah, I watched that movie once. Huh? Lift it up. Good. I did. <laughs> did not. Oh, it flexed. That's a problem. Ah. <laughs> Okay. I'm already like dizzy. Let's do this again. <laughs> now one of you can come put the tires on. <laughs> Your two o'clock is about to pull through the gate. Okay guys, my chicken is ready. I'm gonna go sick. Wait, did you get me one? No. I want my McChicken. Did anyone else like it feels the hydrate? Or is that just me? No, I feel the I'm next to I don't need no water. I don't even got Bro, don't be racist. Okay. I'm Hopefully now it won't fall over. I got a little bit extra. It's okay. Charge 50% Mexican. I think you can handle it. <laughs> we'll just get extra Don't hire <laughs> three Mexicans to do a job you could just pay a company to do. It's not a speech. No, that was a racist joke. <laughs> you are a racist joke. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> oh. That one oh. could be almost done if someone was healthy. Oh! Well, I'm guess what? Talking to you, I'm Marcia. I'm camera boy. Well, you're supposed to be the camera. And you were telling me I was the screw up. Marcia is a joke. You're calling me half white. He's working, but. So, we still think that the starter is the main problem. No idea, but we're going to try to jump start it. The thing is, I think it's a three speed automatic, and none of them know how to jump start it, so. Let's see how this goes. Press the clutch, it's in gear, dude, so you gotta press the clutch. Okay, stop. stop no, it's good, it's good, it's not gonna hit the camera. Yeah. Attempt number three. No luck. Looks fantastic, but we cannot get it to jump start. It won't even turn, it won't even crank. Got the mechanic out now. Trying to go back to basics, check the voltage and everything. He said he's going to try to direct wire it to the starter, see if we can get the starter to crank. I didn't even think about that, so we're going to try that. After that, see if the fuel pump's even pumping fuel into the carburetor. Let's see if this works. It is literally so hot. I almost had Nicholas pass out on us. Like it is, it's really bad. But uh, I haven't eaten all day and I haven't even like thought about it. But their dad actually gave us cash and had me go pick up pizza. So we got ourselves some Little Caesars. He went to go pick up a battery, decided that the best thing to do is try to pop a battery in it, see if we can get it to start. We got the engine to break loose, but it just keeps sputtering. 
I'm wondering if maybe I should go to grab some seafoam while I'm downtown, but I don't want the pizza to get. Well, I guess the pizza's not gonna cool off. They'll just bake more. Okay, so we got our pizza fill. Stop, can this goes first. So now we got a new battery for it. We're gonna see if it works. Got the fingers. It's looking good. I am really hoping this works. Okay. There we go. I'm that dying for this. I really want to drive this. I know, but you can only drive one person at a time, and you don't know how to drive a stick. Oh wow, really? <laughs> You'll learn. It's good. It's easy. So apparently, on top of everything else, last guy who wired the battery. Put that to the negative and that's supposed to be positive so that's where the starter wasn't turning over it was crossing and then the negative cable the grounding mess so the grounding was awful so we actually put new grounds on and we wired the positive with a better cord just got rid of that and then just to make everything better it was like it had no oil in it so that that's good nice and healthy for an engine how many cords have you put in there it's four now at least we see the oil now. Look at mm. that. It's like four quarts low. Yeah, you That's like enough. empty, dude. Okay. Get ready. Ready. That's perfect. Perfect. That's for all the girls who say that they want to date a mature guy. I think mature guys are boring. Men are just boys with bigger toys, changed my mind. <laughs> 